In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear sway bar links. On this Ford Flex, you'll have one of these located on each side of the vehicle behind your rear wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you want to do is safely raise and support the rear of the vehicle so the suspension is hanging and the wheels off the ground. Once you've done that, continue on to removing all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Now that we have the wheel out of the way, let's locate the upper area of our rear sway bar link. We're going to have to remove this 15 millimeter mounting nut and then the link from the bottom of the knuckle. To do that, we'll use a 17 millimeter wrench, grab onto that stud, 15 millimeter to remove the nut. The next thing that we'll want to do is apply some support underneath the rear control arm so we can remove the sway bar link from the knuckle. Once you feel as though that stud has straightened out, go ahead and slide it out of place. Now we can move along to removing our lower sway bar link nut. To remove this, you'll find that you have this protective boot in the way to be able to get your wrench in this area to hold the stud. To easily remove the nut, apply some heat directly to the nut, removing the neoprene locker inside this area. Once you see some of that coming out of there, we'll continue on by using a 15 millimeter wrench and a seven millimeter to hold the stud. Now that I can see the neoprene coming out of there, we'll continue with our removal process. Careful with that nut, obviously it's going to be hot. We'll remove our protective boot. That's just held in place in the center with the stud. And there it is, friends. Now, since it's always a good idea to make sure that you replace these as a pair, you wanna make sure that you're installing the proper side. You'll find that the studs are angled. So if you're installing the one for the passenger side on the driver's side, the studs will not line up with their corresponding mounting areas. Let's start putting this in place. We'll take our protective cover and slide it right over the stud. Press that in. Now we can put the stud through the sway bar and continue on with our brand new locking nut. Looking at the locking nut, you can see that you have the blue neoprene locker. That needs to be facing out. Now at this point, we'll continue tightening this using a 17 millimeter to tighten the nut and a seven millimeter to hold the stud. Just make sure this thing can still pivot. Now we can start installing the upper part of the sway bar link to the steering knuckle. Carefully put this in position. Continue on with your locking nut. Now we can tighten our mounting nut. Now we can torque that upper sway bar link nut to 41 foot pounds. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we've torqued the top nut, make your way down to the lower mounting nut. The torque for this one is 46 foot pounds. Now you can remove the support from underneath your rear control arm. Okay friends, now we can install our wheel. Start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, bottom them out, we'll get the wheel safely back on the ground and then torque each of them to 100 foot pounds. With the wheel back on the ground, let's torque these in a crisscross manner. Okay friends, we showed you how to install one side of your rear sway bar link. Whenever you do these, you do them as a pair. So go ahead over to the other side of the vehicle and repeat the process. Aside from that, take your vehicle for a road test, make sure you don't hear any funny noises. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.